All right, we got the Orca up and printing here in my office, sitting next to a Thingamatic and my Tantalus. This is the first one I built that's uh, autonomous. All it needs is power. The little Raspberry Pi in the bottom right is controlling it, and you log into it with a web interface so you can log into it from a computer or smartphone or whatnot, control it and start prints, stop prints, do whatever. Right now it also has a little web camera doing a quick time lapse of the build. It's first real challenging build, it's a little bracelet with a million retracts. I programmed in a 0.5mm nozzle lift every before every rapid move just to keep from smashing any of those little stringers off. It's doing decently well. Still needs a little bit more calibration, but it's printing more than well enough. Its job is to uh, replicate itself. I'm actually building another one of these, so I'm going to be printing another one in white PLA. Let's see, on my computer it's the Octoprint server. gives you the progress of the print in the webcam feed if you have a webcam hooked up. On this printer I did it a little bit differently. I cut an extra brace in the front here out of aluminum so I could run a different belt. I had a stock T5 belt from a Mendel. It was the only continuous one I had and it was quite a bit longer so I, I put this plate on and then put an extra idler bearing up front and the belt path is kind of more triangular, which seems to work just fine. Plus, let's you uh, let's you reach in, and you can adjust the nozzle height quickly, if need be. It's a Wade style extruder. The only problem is the top brace didn't fit on when I put my extruder in, so design around that, but for right now it doesn't seem to be missing that top bar. Both these bars are pretty firm, so there's no shaking, but I'll design something so it can fit back in there. But we'll come back when it's finished. Here's the print. Just completed, and I did a quick cleanup and got some of the blobs off it. And then any of the little fine stringers that were left I hit with a flame, just to get rid of them quickly but not much cleanup required and turned out pretty decent. Retraction setting needs a little bit of work yet but not bad. 0.15 millimeter layer height And these are some of the calibration blocks I was printing earlier. This one's a 0.1 millimeter layer height. You can see my Z constraint is a little bit off. There's a little bit of wiggle coming from the threaded rods. These are printed single, so the fan's doing its job because there's very little melting at the top. Nice smooth curves. This is 0.15, this is typically what I print at, kind of a good compromise between surface finish and speed. And then this is 0.2, it's like a coarse setting just for speed. The surface finish starts to get a little more ridgy. There you can see the Z wobble. Dimensionally these are 
about 0.1 or 0.01 to 0.02 millimeters off on the X and Y and the Z is off by maybe about 0.1 millimeters so the Z is off by the most but the X and Y are nearly dead on. So I'm happy with that. Let them